Hey everybody and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. So today we're going to be doing another Suzanne print and today we're going to be turning her into a pirate as you can see in the example here. using Blender 2.8 but this can be done in previous versions of Blender so it's entirely up to you which version you want to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and delete these items here. So I'm going to press A, select all of these, and then press X and just delete them. So now let's go ahead and add in the Suzanne mesh. Uh, we could go to Shift A, go to Mesh, and then add in a monkey. So the problem with this is it's a few different pieces put together. We can see the eyes here, two separate objects. So we do need to really connect these up. And, and we did that in a previous tutorial. So if you want to check it out, go and click up here. So instead of uh, connecting these again, what I'm going to do is append in a clean monkey head. And if you want to download this base mesh, I'll throw a link in the description, you can go ahead and download that. So I'm going to go to File, then go down to Append. Then I need to navigate to the folder where I saved the mesh to, so let's go ahead and find that. So once we're in the file, let's go ahead and go to Object, and let's choose the object that we want. There we go. So this is the same thing as before, except when we're going to edit mode. So this is one whole mesh and we can start using it. So for this pirate, um, I've got a couple of different ideas. We can add some teeth, which when we print it out, we can paint one of them gold. And then we could also add a scar to the face. And to fit the pirate theme, we obviously need an eye patch. So we'll do that as well. Then maybe a gold ring or two. So now we have an idea of what we want to do. Let's go ahead and get started. So before I do anything else, I want to tab into edit mode. I'm going to jump to the top view, then I'm going to go to wireframe view by pressing Z and then choose wireframe. I'm just going to deselect everything, press B and just select half of this mesh here like so. I'm going to hit X and delete it and we want to make sure we delete the faces. So now we have this half mesh here. Let's go over to the modifiers tab and then we can add a mirror modifier. And then finally, we just want to check clipping. So now the mesh is joined together as well. So now when I make a change on one side, it'll be duplicated onto the other. So I'm going to jump back into edit mode. Uh, let's start with the mouth. I'm going to select this point here. I'm going to press O to enable proportional editing. As you can see, it's now activated down here. And when I press G, we can see we have this fall off type and we can increase or decrease it by scrolling up the middle mouse wheel. So I just want to give a nice kind of big smile. So something like that. Then the next thing we can do is just bring these up here. So let's go ahead and start adding a few things. Um, we will be adding a subsurf modifier like this. Just to make it look better. But since we're changing a few things and it's going to start slowing down the viewport, I'm just going to get rid of it for now. Okay, so let's add in the scar. I'm going to shift A. Let's add in a cube. Press G and then press Y, bring this forward, scale it down. So now I just kind of want to make a basic, maybe cartoony scar. I'm just going to control R, add a loop cut here, press S to scale, then I'm going to press Z. I also want to make sure I turn off proportional editing, so try that again. Scale this like that. I'm going to add a loop cut here, control R, scroll up the middle mouse wheel. And then if I go to face select, I'm going to select a couple of these faces here. And then I'm going to press E to extrude. And I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to press S, X, and I can scale it on the X axis. Something like this. And again, we can always add some more loop cuts if we want. So now we have this, I'm going to give it a subsurf modifier. And then maybe give this a bit more of a curve. So I'm going to select this edge here. And this one here. Return on proportional editing again. Then if I press G and then X. Do it again. This time increase the fall off. 
We have something that looks like that. It's not too bad. Again, you can always make it look better, but I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and position this now. So what we probably could do is apply this subsurf modifier and we'll join this to the mesh a little bit later on. So the next thing I wanted to do is add some teeth. So let's go ahead and do that. Add in a cube. Bring it forward. And bring it down. Now I will be adding a mirror modifier, so I'm only going to be modeling one side of the teeth. So let's bring this back in. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, and then press G, bring this over. Let's scale it down. So I want these teeth to be kind of piratey and not very well kept. So let's go ahead and try and do that. So now I've got this, I'm going to hover over it and press L just to select all of it. And press Shift D and then press X, just move it over on the X. Also bring it up, Shift D, X, on the Z, and what we could do as well is maybe scale this a little bit. Could also rotate these and give it and make it look even more crooked. I'm also going to select these edges and just bring them back on the on the Y. And then I'm going to press L, select one of these, maybe select this one here. I'm going to shift D, bring it down, rotate 180, scale it down. And again, maybe you wanted to add some more detail to this, go ahead and do that. So now we have this, let's go ahead and add a mirror modifier. So now we have some crooked looking teeth and again one of these will be painted gold. If you wanted to you could add a subsurf modifier but I kind of like these very sharp edges, that looks pretty good. So now we have the teeth, the scar, let's go ahead and get rid of this eye add a patch and then, then we could add a plate and then go ahead and print it out so for this eye what I'm going to do is tab into edit mode I'm going to go to vertex select select this vertex here then I'm going to hold control and press the plus button so we select all of these press x to delete delete faces then what I can do is select this area here and then press f just to add a face and again to add the eye patch it's the same sort of technique so shift a add in a cube what you could probably could do is add a background image and model one from reference if you want i think it's a pretty simple shape to do something like this So now I have this, let's add a subsurf modifier. Let's rotate this. Let's bring this back. So now I have this, let's go ahead and join them all together. If you wanted to, you can make a strap for the eye, but I think it looks pretty good on its own. I'm going to select this base mesh here, apply the subsurf modifier. Same thing with all these others. I'm just... all right, now we can select this mesh, Boolean.
So now Suzanne is complete, let's go ahead and put her on a stand and go to the side view by pressing numpad 3. And then I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Shift A, add in a cylinder. Just bring this down here. Scale it on the Shift Z. Something like this, and then scale it on the Z. Tap into edit mode. Select this face here. E to extrude, right click, press S to scale, bring this down like this, then E to extrude and bring this up. Now I'm going to jump back to the side view and I want this to be a little more over here. Since I already have that uh, face selected, I'm going to press Ctrl plus and just increase the selection. Press G and then Y, just bring this over here, this face, go to Boolean, choose the base. choose union and then hit apply now we have this when we print it out we want to make sure we have the correct size if we press n we can see what this what the dimensions of this is so let's go to the scene tab go to where it says units and let's change this to metric then i want to change the length to millimeters so let's so let's scale this down some can see it's far too big and one of the things we do need to do as well is change the unit scale so i talked about this in the previous tutorial and again i'm not sure why we need to change this but we do so i'm going to go to so i'm going to change this to 0 0.001 as soon as we do that we can see it's really 2.16 millimeters so let's scale this back up now 50 millimeters five or six centimeters or something like this it's pretty good Control s to save it when you're happy with the scale, all we need to do now is export it out. So let's go to File, go down to Export, then choose STL. Then you want to go to a folder where you want to save this to. Rename this We also want to check Selection Only. Go ahead and export that. So if you want to download this model, either the dot .blend or the STL, I'll leave both links in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a like. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.